Hey everyone! In my last video I did a quick walkthrough of these two decks that I've just gotten, the Feral Humphreys American Tarot by Marco Benedetti. Um, this is the antique one, um, the antique look one, and then this one is the one that looks a little bit more like an actual Dolores deck. Um, and it occurred to me that it might actually be nice to kind of do a bigger side-by-side -side comparison than just showing a couple of cards. So what I'm going to do today is show you the difference between the Feral Humphreys American Tarot Antique version and an actual antique DeLorean's deck. Um, so let's bring those guys out. There's our Feral Humphrey. And there's the DeLorean's. <clears throat> um, if you didn't see the video that I did um, kind of comparing the two um, Feral Humphreys American Tarot decks. I'm not a huge fan of this one. Um, I find the scans to be a bit sloppy. Um, I'm not sloppy. The scans are just low resolution and I don't think they printed out terribly well. Um, the aspect ratio is also made smaller, like everything squished in a little bit, which I immediately noticed and it irritated me. Um, these scans also did not come from an antique deck. These came from um, Dolores's, I think, 1916 Key to the Tarot. That would make that this American um, Tarot, the Feral Humphreys American Tarot, the first time that these images um, were ever made into cards, which is actually kind of cool. I'll give it that. Um, but these images did not ever come from cards, so things are going to look a little bit different. Um, but yeah, here's the new antique deck and here's the actual antique deck. I think the colors on the actual antique deck are just a lot nicer and the print job is so much better. Like, look, can you see the difference in the line work? This is so much blurrier. Yeah, it's super blurry. Um, when we look at the two towers, look at the um, falling figure on the left for both of these. Like, that's that's not great. You can really see that it's been squished in because you've got those round, big round things, the suns. Big round things, the suns, my goodness. And there's the world. I don't think it's you know worth going through all the rest of the cards. Um, I think you can kind of like get a good sense of how the two decks differ just from the majors alone. Um, yeah, I think when you actually see like the Feral Humphrey antique deck next to an actual Lawrence antique deck, there's there's no comparison. Like it's nice that it was taking the 1916 scans and putting them into cards for the first time. Um, I just kind of wish that it had a better base scan to work from. All right. Thank you so much for walking through this with me today. Enjoy your day.